Hello, everyone. I am Santiago Hurtado. I am presenting our work on Fabricrafts and Soft Robotics towards Connected Engineering Learning that I've worked together with Ana and Paulina. We looked at how fiber crafting and silicon pneumatic actuators can engage all students in engineering learning. It's work in progress and we are looking forward to your comments. First of all, we look at engineering as a field that continues to face lopsided representations. Women are still underrepresented in engineering and we need to identify engineering learning contexts that work for all learners. Soft robotics is an emerging field in robotics that poses an alternative to traditional hard robotics. Soft robotics enables the use of soft materials as alternative applications of these materials. In soft robotics, the unique mechanical qualities of fiber crafts have been used. For instance, to innovate soft robotics devices for space travel, as fiber crafting enables designing for complex non-flat surfaces and handling of delicate objects and or interactions with human skin, for example. The alternative use of materials not commonly associated with underrepresented populations in engineering, for example, women, places socio-material practices of such underrepresented populations in engineering at the core of innovation in the field. Yet it remains underexplored how pneumatic actuators can serve the exploration of material structures on fiber crafts as a way to anchor fiber crafts as value design materials for inclusive engineering learning. In our study, we build on, connect on a connected learning approach, specifically aiming to understand how the sociomateriality of fabric-based pneumatic actuation could support important connected learning elements, such as legitimization of youth interests at the intersection of engineering learning, meaningful contributions, and progress across settings. The work builds on a longer tradition of work that explores the materiality of equitable STEM learning by introducing creative materials that call for practices social historically associated with those underrepresented in engineering. With this, we pose this research question. How can the socio-material properties of fabric-based pneumatic actuation activity bring about opportunities for engineering learning and elements of connected learning environments? Moving on to methods. The study itself took place in a US middle school setting. Anna facilitated a craft course that included weaving, sewing, and actuation. The actuation part is what we focused on in this paper. It included two sessions of pneumatic activation of 70 minutes each. Anna facilitated the course twice with six youth participants during each iteration. In the first iteration of the pneumatic actuation sessions, youth first explored ready-made actuators in combination with fabric and then created their own actuators with silicon materials. In the second iteration of the pneumatic actuation sessions, youth used custom-made sewable actuators and explored how to connect them to fabric. For our data sources, we had two main ones. First of all, we had a video captured in 360 uh, camera mounted on the ceiling top of the working tables for each group, as you can see in the picture. This provided a global view of how the participants worked. We had a total of 280 minutes recorded. And we also used semi-structured interviews that asked that discussed the creations with eye level phone recording. This allowed for a closer look into the projects developed. We had around 90 minutes of semi-structured interviews and around 25 minutes per session. For our analytical techniques, we used narrative summaries of video data in the 360 videos, selecting and focalizing on three cases that would display exemplary cases. Second, we analyzed the data based on connected learning elements and alignment with next generation science standards towards engineering education. To answer how can the sociomateriality properties of fabric-based pneumatic actuation activity bring about elements of connected learning environments, we present two exemplary cases. First, we look into tinkering with pneumatic familiarity. Devaney explored actuators in combination with fabrics, artifacts through narrative and storytelling. First, Devaney engaged in an engineering design process as she explored how the actuators work by connecting a sewn artifact to the pneumatic actuator and observing how it changes shape when inflating the actuator. 
Yet, she also was interested in how the fabric shapes went back to the original form when deflating the actuator. Second, she designed her own actuator. She went through multiple iterations, starting with a star, then a small heart, and deciding for a big heart-shaped actuator. Third, she narrated short stories with ready-made actuators. She added woven fabrics as a blanket on top of an actuator. She then drew a face and attached it to a blanket and explained that it looked like a breathing person in bed, as you can see in the picture. The fabric was a way for her to make meaning of the robotics materials in familiar ways. It was practices like this that showed how the design of the activity supported connected learning elements, especially the demonstration of youth interests in combination with engineering. For the next generation science standards, we can see in the slide how we she also engaged in constructing explanation and designing solutions and optimizing the design solutions as well. Second, we see Martina as a deep dive into engineering. Martina's exploration with the materials focused on combining fiber crafts with soft robotics, which produced a space that was generative for engineering practices while also supporting important connected learning elements. For instance, Martina's, ex Martina's exploration material properties and how they interacted with one another as well as iterative solution findings. She demonstrated how her project inflated as she carefully and slowly inflated it with a bicycle pump. Doing so changed the folds of the fabric. To get this right required paying close attention to the interactions of the two materials, constructing explanations and designing solutions on the placements of the stitches that connected the fabric artifacts to the actuators. Especially during the second session, she, con she conducted a series of tests of how, on how best to combine an actuator with a fabric to inflate and deflate the flat folding fabric. Connected learning elements supported her exploration. Her case points to the utility of including sewable features to the actuators and for facilitating the activity with the specific purpose of inflating and deflating a flat foldable artifact to foster engineering. Yet the focused design of the activity towards increasing engineering engagement reduce some of the connected learning elements within the case. For moving on to discussion and implications, we think that the activities show practices like sewing can engage different students towards various next generation science startups, as well as connected learning environment. This shows how combining novel approaches towards STEM learning can engage students in diverse ways. Production of feminine forward context can support the creation of personally meaningful designs at the intersection of connected learning and engineering for all. When fibercrats are involved, different modes of engagement are possible as the material provides flexibility for its users. It is important to know that the open-endedness of the activity allowed for us to see how students could approach the projects in ways that were meaningful for them, opening up possibilities for girls in STEM learning. We think that Fabrics in soft robotics um, learning activities may first support engineering practices through the exploration of fabric mechanics and actuator placement in relation to the mechanics. And second, integrating familiar materials with novel practices to develop narratives that deepen engineering explorations, like a breathing person. These activities need to be further studied and implemented. For further explorations of the activities, we might think that it is important to first allow participants to explore ready-made actuators. Second, to implement encouragements for narratives and storytelling within the materials after initial exploration of the actuator system. And third, directly introducing the activity, the, the idea of fabrics as complex mechanics that have moving pieces while reducing sewing requirements. Thank you for listening, and we are very excited to talk to you soon.